So what, let's go over what we got here. So basically the the main thing is the 3M um, 600 grit sandpaper. And this stuff cuts real nice. It lasts a long time. I'm just gonna throw it on this little handheld sander. I've got just an array of blocks that I'm gonna use for the SVO side skirts i'm using scotch bright and some 3m scuff it and i just have a roll of 600 grit all basic stuff and um yeah let's get to it so what i want to do i really want to stay away from some of these edges so i have my hand block that i will get there you know up up against here when i get close to here I won't use the machine, but for the most part, it's just um, sanding it down, letting it dry, make sure I get all the clear off of it and rinse, wash, repeat. <laughs> So I have to say, I salute all you professionals out there who are um, in the body, um, body work, painting, whatever you want to call it, because just to get to this point, I might have maybe 15 hours into this. I, I have to say that like the, the, the prep work really beat me up. Like I, I really understand why, um, you know, a lot of people say, you know, it's not the spraying that takes most of the time when you do um, body work, it's the preparation. And I don't really think I have this like prepped, like super good. You know, I've got the, the back bumper off. I'm going to just color the spoiler to match the rest of the car. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, I started off I used the uh, turbine sprayer and I just kind of tested it out on the hood and the sail panels. I didn't take the sail panels off because I figured, you know, the natural gap that you have between the sail panel and the rear quarter is enough where I won't have to, you know, worry about tape lines. I'm getting a cow hood, so I'm not really worried about um, overspray on the cow hood, but I covered it anyway. A couple of little spots I tried my best to um, flatten out or you know make true. The um, engine bay is pretty much covered, but you know once I get this all cleared and let it you know cure for a couple of weeks, I'm gonna move this car back over and pull the motor. So that's why I don't I didn't pull the motor first. I just want to get the car off this wall so I can have more room to spray. This is only like a two car garage, so I don't have a lot of room. Um, I've, I've got some drapes down here on the uh, side skirt, so I don't have to worry about overspray getting on the exhaust. I've got, you know, some plastic covering the inner fender because I don't have the uh, inner fender cover on here. And behind this, I got my transmission cooler. On the other side, I've got 
um, fuel filter, so I needed this covered. Front bumper is off, it's at the other house again. I needed to cover up the front of it because my um, intercooler piping, my turbo piping, all that is exposed. I didn't take this um, side mirror off. Actually, I think this side mirror was actually the first thing I painted. I take that back. It wasn't the roof. It was this. This was the first thing that I painted on this car using that turbine sprayer, and it, it came out fantastic. Didn't I didn't remove the door handles. I know a lot of you guys are going to beat me up for not removing certain things. Like I say, man, uh, a ton of work, and um, I'm actually anxious to start spraying. So let's a um, couple of things. <laughs> It's my air scrubber. I'm gonna have that running and the SN95 power box. So right now the garage temperature is, probably can't see that, 56. I'm gonna get temperature up a little bit. Let the garage sit at around 60 degrees. Let, you know, the surfaces try to get up in temperature a little bit more and then we'll start spraying.
All right, let's talk about the finished product. Now, I only cleared this one side. It's for a couple of different reasons, but the main reason is I just want to see how this side came out first and not potentially waste material on the other side since this was the shorter side. And I'm glad I did because there's a lot of um, bad and some good. Uh, first thing, let's talk about the good. The good is I um, don't have any overspray, no sags. I laid this down nice and even and i um, pretty happy with the, the finish. The, you know, um, technique with the turbine sprayer thing is this hose is so it collapses very easy and so if you collapse the hose or kink it while you're spraying it'll sputter and i have a spot on the other side on the um side skirt that that happened and that's another reason why i didn't um clear that side because i might have to go back and fix that um i didn't record me doing the hood i mean the hood <laughs> the um deck lid but that came out good now let's talk about all this bad and when I say all this bad I'm talking about orange peel now for whatever reason it could just be my experience with speedo coat and a fast hardener could be the temperature that I had in this garage but I thought using a fast hardener was because of um, cooler temperatures now as I was spraying, I had to have the garage door open. And of course, it's 19 degrees outside. So I would guess the garage temperature with the heater blowing would have had this garage around 40 something degrees. So I would let the garage air out as much as it would. And I would close the garage, let it get back up to temperature and continuously doing that. Nothing different than I've done before, but the only difference is it's never been this cold when I had sprayed some of these other pieces. So the car is just riddled with orange peel. So this is me going back to my um, orange peel obsession. Like This doesn't mean that this paint job is horrible. It just means I'm gonna have to take more time, you know, leveling out the clear and get it um, nice and flat to, to bring that, that gloss out. So not a big deal there. So when I spray the other side, I'm gonna use the medium hardener that I have. I think I have just enough medium hardener to at least do maybe one or two panels. So uh, when I do this other side, I'm only, I'm not gonna spray the whole thing. I'm gonna just do enough of it to test out that medium hardener. And if the medium hardener lays down a lot better than this stuff, then I'll have to get some more. When I do um, the new hood, the trunk and the front bumper. But besides that, tell me what you think. You know, all you professionals out there, I'm, I'm up for professional criticism. This is only the second time I've painted a car and this is the first time where I, I sprayed it all in one shot. Now I can say that I am happy that I have a nice uniform color pretty much on, um, well really all on the driver's side. I did spray this side at a different time. So when I pull this uh, plastic off, I'll see how the color looks, if it's uniform. But I think, you know, for my second time spraying the car, it looks pretty good. You know, I, I honestly think if it was warmer, I wouldn't have this, this much orange peel, but it is what it is. So uh, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. We um, almost ready to wrap this whole series up about painting this car. Like the last thing I'm gonna do is pull the motor, spray that. But you know, that'll probably be more closer to February when I get to that point. But do me a solid, tell a couple of people about the channel. Um, like, hit the nail, hit the nail, hit, hit the bell notifications. Um, this for when I drop videos. I try to drop two videos a week. I've been pretty consistent with that. So hey, it's almost Christmas time and I'll drop a video two before Christmas, but if you don't swing by before Christmas, then have a Merry Christmas. And until next time, God bless.